of ten. Friends, today in this video, we will learn to make bundles of tens and to write two digit numbers with the help of this interesting conversation between Lily, Billy, and Cory, ma'am. Lily, what are you going to make in the school's handicraft festival? I am going to make a straw wall piece which is an object to be hung on the wall. Hey, even I have thought of that. So, let us go and get the straws. Hey Billy, these are a lot of straws. How will we divide them? Hey Lily Billy, what are you going to make with these straws? We will make a wall piece out of these. To make a wall piece, I need 28 straws. And I need 45 straws. But, but how, how we will count, count these, these straws? straws? Come on children, I will explain. We can count these straws by making bundles of 10. Bundles of 10? Yes, Lily. Bundles of ten. Billy, out of the straws kept here, count ten straws and keep them aside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten. Well done, Billy. Now we will tie these ten counted straws together with this rubber band. Now. This has become one bundle of ten. Billy, how many straws are there in this bundle? There are ten straws in this bundle. Billy, come on. Now in the same way, make a second bundle of ten straws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten. Billy, how many straws are there in total in both these bundles? In both these bundles, there are 10 and 10, 20 straws in total. Look, Billy, I am putting these 8 straws next to both the bundles. Now, tell me, how many straws are there in total? Adding 10 straws to 10 straws makes 20 straws. And adding 8 to 20 straws, there are 28 straws in total. Oh, wow! These are all the straws I want. Curry ma'am, but I need 45 straws. How will we count 45 straws? Look, Lily, there are two bundles of 10 and 8 straws here. Now tell me, how many straws will we have to add to 8 straws? To make a third bundle of ten. Eight and one, nine. Nine and one, ten. If we add two straws to eight straws, there will be ten straws. Like this, we can make a third bundle of ten. Well done, Lily. So yes, Lily, you need 45 straws. There are 30 straws here. So now how many more straws will we add to them? We will put one more bundle of 10 straws and keep 5 straws. Very good Lily. Now tell me how many straws are there in total? Adding 10 and 10, 20. Adding 10 to 20, 30. Adding 10 to 30, 40. Adding 5 to 40, so there are 45 straws in total. Oh wow, these are all the straws I need. <laughs> Lily Billy, now you have learned to make bundles of 10, haven't you? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma okay children, let's meet at school tomorrow. Bye. Bye ma'am. Today, we learn to make bundles of 10 
and to write two digit numbers. In the next video, we will learn different ways of writing 10. Writing 10 in different ways. Friends, in this video today, we will learn to write 10 in different ways. With the help of this interesting conversation between Lily, Billy and their Cory ma'am. Good morning children. Good morning ma'am. Lily, Billy, you have learned making bundles of 10 quite well, isn't it? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma children, today let me explain to you how to write 10 in different ways. Look, I have some stickers. I will stick these stickers on cards in three different ways. Now, I have three cards with stickers. Look, here in the first card, there are six in the first row, two in the second row and two stickers in the third row. So here, adding 2 to 6, we get 8. And adding 2 to 8, we get 10. This card has 10 stickers in total. We will write the sum of 10 like this. 6 plus 2 plus 2 equals 10 stickers. Ok Lily, now tell me how many stickers in total are there on the second card? Adding 4 to 3 gives 7. Adding 3 to 7 gives 10. So this has 10 stickers in total. Well done, Lily. Now tell me, how will we write the sum of 10 here? On the second card, there are 3 in the first row, 4 in the second row and 3 stickers in the third row. So here, we will write 3 plus 4 plus 3 equals 10 stickers. Very good, Lily. Come on, Billy. Now you tell me how many stickers are there on the third card. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 stickers. Billy, adding how many stickers to 6 stickers will make them? 10 stickers. Adding the numbers 7, 8, 9 and 10. That is adding 4 more stickers will make it 10 stickers. Well done Billy. Lily, now you tell me, how will we write the sum of 10 here? In this card there are 5 in the first row, 1 in the second row and 4 stickers in the third row. So here we will write 5 plus 1 plus 4 to make 10 stickers. Well done Lily. So children, today we learned that adding 2 and 2 to 6 is 10. Adding 4 and 3 to 3 is 10. And adding 1 and 4 to 5 is also 10. So in this way, you can write 10 in different ways. Yes ma'am, we have learned how to write 10 in different ways. Okay, remember that. Now I will leave. Bye, Bye ma'am. Today, we learned how to write 10 in different ways. Along with your friends, you too can practice writing 10 in different ways. In the next video, we will learn through examples to make bundles of 10 and write their sum. Today, in this video, through some interesting examples, we will understand a little more about making bundles of 10 
and writing two digit numbers. Hello Billy, did you make your wall piece? No, it is not yet completely ready. I am thinking of sticking some small mirrors too on the wall piece. Billy, can you give me 24 mirrors out of these? Yes, okay. But first tell me, how many mirrors are there in total? I will count them by making groups of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Adding a 10 and a second 10, we get 20. Adding another 10 to 20, we get 30. Adding another 10 to 30, we get 40. Now, adding another 10 to 40 makes it 50. Now, adding the remaining 10 to 50 makes it 60. Now, adding 4 mirrors to 60 will make it 64 mirrors. Lily, how many groups of 10s are there in total and how many mirrors are there separately? There are 6 groups of 10s and 4 mirrors separately. So how many mirrors are there in all? There are a total of 6 groups of 10. That means 60 and 4, 64 mirrors. Wow Lily, you counted so many mirrors very easily. Look, now I can give you 24 mirrors out of these 64 mirrors. So I will have 40 mirrors left. Thank you Billy. Come on, now let us count these flutes. Billy, how many flutes are there in one bundle? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. One bundle here has 10 flutes. How many bundles of flutes are there in total? 1, 2, 3. There are total 3 bundles of flutes. Billy, now tell me how many flutes are there in all? There are 30 and 6. Total 36 flutes. Come Lily, now tell me adding how many flutes to these 6 flutes will make 1 bundle of 10. Adding 4 flutes to 6 flutes will make 1 bundle of 10 flutes. Yes, now here we have 4 bundles of 10 flutes each. That means there are total 40 flutes. Well done, Billy. Okay, now I will leave. See you. Bye. Children, I hope that through these interesting examples, you would have well understood how to make bundles of tens and writing the sum of objects in a bundle or group. In the next video, we will understand the mistakes we make while finding the total number of objects in a bundle of 10. Today, we will learn about some interesting facts related to objects in the box or bundle of tens and their number. Lily, if I have 8 bangles, how many bangles would I have to add? So I would have 10 bangles. On adding 1 to 8, we get 9. By adding 1 to 9, we get 10. So we will have 10 bangles by adding 2 bangles in 8. Well done Lily.
here are total two boxes of bangles. So tell me, how many bangles are there in the first box? There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten bangles in the first box. Lily, we do not have to count the bangles one by one like this. I will teach you. There are two and two, four bangles in the first row. There are also two and two, four bangles in the second row. And there are two bangles in the third line. So, we can also count bangles this way. We get 8 by adding 4 plus 4, 10 by adding 2 with the 8. So, there are 10 bangles in the first box. Now, I will count the second box the same way. Okay, you count. There will be 5 bangles if we add 2 bangles of the first row and 3 bangles of the second row. And if we add 5 bangles of third row to these 5 bangles, then there will be total 10 bangles in the second box. So, there are 10 bangles in total. Oh, wow! Absolutely right! Now tell me this, how many bangles are there in these two boxes? There are 10 bangles in the first box and there are also 10 bangles in the second box. So if we add 10 and 10, there will be 20. So there are total 20 bangles in these two boxes. Well done Lily! Friends, today we learned to count the number of objects in the bundle of 10 and also in the boxes with the help of examples. In the next video, we will understand about 10s and 1s.